fax machine. And this is more a public service announcement than it is anything else because very few of you who might tune into this are actually going to buy a Thermofax machine. You could, but there are an awful lot of people who already have Thermofax machines and in the past year and a half or two years, I lose track of time, there's been a freak out meltdown because the film that used to be made for the machine was discontinued and it was replaced with a new film and a lot of people are still just at this point running out of the original blue film and now they're in a quandary what to do. So I would like to share a couple things about the new film with you to make your life easier so you can sleep. All right. Now, the blue film, for starters, if you find blue film for sale anywhere, do not buy it. We are posting this video in the fall of 2018. And the film, the blue film, has not been manufactured for at least two years, and I actually think maybe longer ago than that. It was discontinued, and it has a shelf life. So if somebody's trying to sell you blue film for a great price, I wouldn't go for that deal because it isn't real. You may not even ever get through the whole roll before it starts to degrade. And what happens is basically the plastic starts to peel away from the polyester fabric that it's been laminated to at the factory in the beginning. And when that happens, it's a, not that long before the entire screen is pretty much shot and you're not going to be able to use it anymore. So you may have blue screens. You may still have some blue screen. You can keep using it, but don't buy anything new. Don't buy any blue screen. Now, here's what the white screen looks like. It's white. And it's the same thing. It's basically polyester, and that's the doll or matte side, and it's laminated to a shiny plastic side. And the shiny plastic is the part that burns off and opens up when it's run through the machine next to carbon toner. Now, this isn't a lesson in using the machine because if you already have a machine, you know how to use it. But I do want to point out something to you about the white film. It's sturdier. When you learn how to use the white film, you're going to really like the white film. So now's the time. Here's what you need to understand. The machine has a dial. It's a really simple machine. It has a dial. And this dial does not affect the heat. So I think there's a common misperception that somehow the machine gets hotter or cooler and that it doesn't, it's not warm enough, perhaps, is, is what some people think. And that's why the white film doesn't burn completely and open up completely. But that's actually not how it works. If I run a piece of paper through the machine, what's happening is it's running through the machine, and when it hits a sensor inside, it turns on the bright light, the light bulb that's inside is very bright and very hot, and the light bulb, the exposure to the light bulb is what melts the plastic so that it can be pulled off because it melts onto the carbon toner on the copy. This has no carbon toner on it because I just want to show you what happens when you adjust this button. If I turn it one direction, it goes through really fast. but it still takes just as long to shut off. That says lighter. Lighter, darker means nothing to you anymore. Lighter, darker had to do with the, what the machine did when it was still used in its original, for its original purpose, which was to cut stencils that were used for mimeographing. So lighter, darker means nothing to you right now. Think of it, lighter is faster and darker is slower. So if I turn the dial the other direction, about as far as it'll go and I run the paper through. There's always the plug. When that starts to happen and the machine is continuing to cycle like that, here's a really smart thing to know. You don't want to keep running things through until it shuts off in between, because that's the fastest way to burn out the motor. When it slows down like this, that's kind of a sign that the motor could be problematic and that would be death to the machine. So I want to take good care of my machine because I don't want my machine to die. I got a lot of thermofaxing still left in me, okay? So 
Here's what you need to know. I am going to plug it back in and adjust it, so we might have to wait for it to finish that cycle. Oh, good. It's cooperating because I talked to it nicely. All right, all kidding aside, now, the white film is sturdier and the plastic is a little bit thicker than what was on the blue film. If you had a piece of blue film and you had a piece of white film, you could easily distinguish between the two. The thicker white the thicker plastic on the white film requires a longer exposure to the light in order to burn off completely. So what that means is that if your machine is still set on this dial where it was set when you were using the blue film, you're probably running the white film through too fast. So what that means, remember, lighter is faster and darker is slower, and you might have to write something here. I would not probably walk, I'll walk away from this and get mixed up and I won't necessarily remember and I have to come experiment some more, but you could write it on the machine. I could, it's my machine, I'm a grown up. So what I wanna do is wherever it was set before when you were using the blue film, you wanna change it so that now it runs through more slowly than it did before. So that would mean, you see I've got my dial marked. This is where it used to be and now I've moved it over to where that little arrow is now I know where to leave it so that when I through, run the white film through, it'll run through more slowly and then it should make direct contact and the light should be on long enough that it will solve the problem of not opening up the screen. That's really all there is to it. So remember, you've got to slow it down so that the film is exposed to um, the light bulb longer. And then the other tip is that you may or may not be using a plastic kind of an acrylic um, sleeve that used to come with the supplies when you bought them from Welsh products. Eliminate that sleeve and don't use it anymore. It, it, you really don't need it. You can make a carrier out of regular paper like this and you can, you can fold the edge back like this as a guide to run it through the machine. That plastic, very, very gradually, you may notice, it, it warps over time. And when it's warping and heating up over time, tiny, tiny, minuscule little bits of it are melting onto the roller inside the machine, and that can also shorten the lifespan of the machine. So think about replacing any plastic carrier with a paper one. Slow the machine down so that you can accommodate the white film more effectively, and that should solve your problems. Sometimes the white film doesn't open up quite as completely on big open areas, as the blue film did, and we have experienced that in our own business when people send us designs, and I've experienced it with my own designs on occasion, and I'm not sure exactly what we can do to eliminate that problem. Maybe that's something they'll work on at the film factory end, but for the meantime, we just that's one of those little quirks that we have to live with and hope for the best. And you might be able to solve it by making one more pass beyond what you would usually do to force just a little bit more product, whatever you're printing through, in order to kind of even out any little open pinhole spots that didn't, uh, didn't open completely when you burned the film. Good luck with it.